DIY this really cute clutch bag with pictures from Instagram or Tumblr. So let's get started. You are going to need a fabric, I'm using silk. You're also going to need Mud Podge, a pair of scissors, a brush and a zipper and you can find all this at a craft store. Next we are going to go on the internet, so I just went on Tumblr and I just found a bunch of pictures that I like and you're just gonna print them out in a regular paper, cut the excess around and here it is, we have a couple of pictures to work with. Uh, next, you want to make sure that you are going to cover uh, the surface where we're going to work with plastic so it doesn't glue on whatever you have underneath the fa fabric. Next, we are going to apply some Mudge Podge on the fabric and we are going to start placing our pictures on it. This is very important, you want to leave at least uh, something from like a quarter to a half inch on the sides of the fabric without any Mudge Podge on it because we're gonna need that part of the fabric to be glued later so it can't have any Mudge Podge to it. So just don't, just don't forget to leave that border around it and we can just keep on gluing our pictures on it, so just apply the Mudge Podge, place the pictures. And the dimensions of your clutch bag are completely up to you, just make sure that you get the zipper at least um, one inch shorter than your width. So my width here is 11 inches and my length is 12 inches and my zipper is 10 inches. Okay, so here I have already glued all of my pictures on, they are all in the right place and I'm going to still make sure that I don't uh, apply Mudge Podge on the very edge on the sides. So just keep that in mind and we are going to um, cover all the pictures with Mudge Podge. So this is going to dry clear later and it's going to add a beautiful shine and it's going to be waterproof. And once you are uh, done applying the Mud Podge, you can just let it dry for a couple of hours until it's completely dried and has like a plastic kind of feeling, you know. Um, to be honest, mine, I let it dry for like, I just let it like overnight because I wanted to make sure that it was completely dried. So this is what it looks like, what it was looking like on the next day. It really has that plastic uh, look and feeling. I think it turned out pretty cool. So next here I'm just going to cut the top and the bottom, not the sides, okay? Because we need that side to glue. Um, so we're just going to cut here the top and the bottom. This is where the zipper is going to go. But before the zipper, I didn't really want the uh, plastic feeling inside my clutch, so I decided to put a lining. So I'm just gonna glue a piece of fabric on the inside and it's just the same uh, fabric that I used for the outside. So that's just gonna be, you know, give like a really nice lining on the inside and it's just gonna look a lot better that way and feel a lot better. And once the lining is completely dried, we are going to apply the zipper. So I'm just going to fold in a half like this and I'm going to get the zipper and apply a strip of glue on each side of the zipper and just glue onto the zipper just like that. Um, so the glue that I'm using is the E6000 and this is the same glue that I used for the lining, for the zipper and for the sides. And once the zipper is completely dried, we're going to open the zipper, turn it inside out, make sure that the zipper is open, and we're going to simply glue the sides. This is why I was telling you all the time to leave the sides of the fabric without much podge. It's because uh, if there was much podge on the very edge of the fabric right here, this glue would not work. So just keep that in mind. So final step here, we're going to glue the sides using the E6000. 
and just make sure you pressed on the sides really well and let it sit there let it dry well once it's completely dried turn it to the right side and ta-da! you have your clutch bag made of pictures from Instagram or Tumblr it's like how cool is that it's definitely definitely not the most expensive clutch you ever had but definitely the most creative and the coolest one I think that this turned out so cool if there are some wrinkles on it you can just leave a book sitting on it for a little while that should take care of it but the results I think they turned out really cool so yeah if you guys like this idea if you like this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and leave a comment tell me what you think of the idea if you have any other ideas for future videos I'd love to hear from you and yeah so don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys on my next video bye